Something is predictable. That means we were asleep on the job. The only things that are predictable are the everyday things, such as, oh, I have a shopping list. I'm going to buy potato chips. I'm going to buy eggs. I'm going to buy milk. If you want to be a shopping list item as a brand, then just deliver what's expected, deliver what's predictable. That's a quantity game. You need to elevate it and inject the quality that raises it up from predictable to extraordinary. That's the difference. There's two different kinds of voices that are out there. There's the ones that are focused on fame, which means it's all about me. And then there's the ones that are focused on leaving a legacy, which means it's all about you. So when I'm talking about you, I'm talking about you as the customer. I'm talking about you as the person who's going to decide, do I want that company to do business with? Do I want to support them? And you are that person who says, am I going to pay attention to that person or not? Am I going to listen to that person or not? Am I going to find what they're saying valuable? or not, and will I feel rewarded and enriched and bigger and more capable and smarter at the end of that interchange. If we rely on facts, we've gotten lazy. We've gotten like, okay, facts and metrics have become the crutch. You know what you need to have as a crutch? You need you to have as a crutch. If you cannot rely on yourself to inject the life, to stay true to the vision, and to question anything that starts to approach, eh, that's why we did it yesterday, so therefore that's where we're gonna do it tomorrow. That's when you're getting lazy. That's when the past has become a crutch, that's when facts become a crutch, and that's when ordinary becomes a crutch. If you want a crutch, have the light of a vision as your crutch. Have inspiration as your crutch. Have how amazingly awesome it could be as a crutch. You have that as a crutch, get out of the way, because at that point you're unstoppable.